After making the BMO Nintendo Switch dock from one of my previous videos, one downside I noticed in the design was that there was no way to adjust the angle of the screen. So if you're looking down at it, the screen is not perpendicular to your line of sight. While thinking of ways to update the design, I thought of one of my favorite handheld consoles while growing up, the Game Boy Advance SP. Instead of redesigning the BMO dock to adjust its angle, I thought it would be cooler to try and design a giant Game Boy Advance SP that the Switch docks right into. Let's get started on the design. If you like videos that show the design, print, and build process for fun projects like this, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel to see more videos like this. The main feature of this design is the ability to adjust the angle of the screen. This is done by simply opening the top half and securing it on a linkage system I designed to fit into a slot on the back of it. This support piece is secured on the inside of the Game Boy design by a pin holding it into a slot. The pin can be placed into many slots to control the angle at which the screen portion of the design rests at. You can also store your Switch games in a mock Game Boy Advance game cartridge. It can hold up to 8 different games. I also included a piece that holds a USB-C charger in place to charge the switch and connect it to an external monitor or TV. Finally, you can also store your Joy-Cons on the inside of the Game Boy body when you're not using them. Now that the design's finished, let's print it out and get it painted. Before painting, I filled in any gaps with Bondo and sanded it down to make the pieces as smooth as I can get them. Now it's time to paint on a couple of layers of primer, sanding in between the layers, and then finally putting on the color coat. My Game Boy Advance SP that I had was cobalt blue, so I found a paint pretty identical in color to use for this project. The last step is to assemble everything. To get all the buttons to stay in place, I hot glued them to the top plate of the Game Boy body. To make sure the screen cover plate stays in place, I hot glued the pegs into the holes to secure it. The final thing that I need to glue into place is the USB-C dongle holder. My design secures into the back piece, but I need to glue the USB cable to secure it into the 3D printed fitting to ensure that when you undock your switch, the cable doesn't just lift up with the switch. Once that's glued in, I just press fit the 3D printed pieces together. With the pieces we needed hot glued together all set and finished, we can put the pins in the slots and get everything else put together. To avoid scratching the back of the switch, I put neoprene strips on the back surface of the dock. This also gives the fans a little bit of room to breathe and avoids putting unnecessary stress on the USB-C connection by keeping the switch in line with it. The linkage design holds up the top half well and the cover fits right onto the body of the design. Now it's time to test if the switch fits onto the USB-C port, and luckily it does. To charge the Switch, you can connect the licensed Nintendo USB-C charger right into the dongle. To connect the Switch to a TV or monitor, you can plug an HDMI cable into the dongle as well. And then, when you want to play on the built-in touchscreen, you can just simply unplug it.
When you're all finished with your gaming session, you can either store the Joy-Cons in the dock or remove your Switch and close the screen. Thank you for watching. This design was a lot of fun to make and I already have some other cool Switch Dock designs that I'm working on. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and turn on notifications so you can be notified when I post new design and build videos. I'm also starting up a Discord server to build a 3D design and printing community where we can help each other learn better design and print practices. If you're interested in joining that server and learning how to design and 3D print, the link is down in the description. My Instagram is also linked in the description where I post pictures and videos of projects while I work on them. Thank you again for watching and have a great rest of your day.